Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? I'm gonna take my glasses off because they have like a glare, so. So it's been a hot second since I vlogged because I'll just give you like a life update, I suppose. Last week was my last week of classes. So April 20, because I don't know when this video is gonna make it up. April 24th, I guess, if that was a Tuesday, I believe that was. I had my final trial, which you guys know I was freaking out about for a very long time, and it went really, 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 really well. I was the defense attorney, and I got a verdict of not guilty, and I also won best advocate. So I'm very happy with that because, you know, I entered that semester not... Like, I know in some respects that I want to do litigation, but I had never done that before. So I entered that semester being one of the least experienced people in my class because most of the people in trial ad do trial competitions. So I was pretty much one of the only ones who had not done that, aside from like three other people. And I just improved a lot this semester. And if I have one thing I can tell you all, and I've gotten questions about this before, like, oh, I'm very scared of public speaking and X, Y, Z of that respect but I want to do a trial ad class or, you know, something like that. Just do it because the only way you're going to get past your fear of public speaking, doing litigation, trial work, stuff like that is by doing it. Like you're not just generally born loving doing this stuff or being very good at it, but you have to do it. So that went really well. And then my last day of work was on Wednesday and I learned a lot at this job. I got a lot of experience, a lot of experience that people my in my like year of law school don't have. And I'm very happy about that. It was very stressful this semester. As you guys know, a lot of traveling, like commuting, and just a lot of things going on. But it was a good experience. I also got a lot of public speaking experience in that. So that was Wednesday. That was my last day. And then Thursday was my last evidence class. So I have my evidence final on May 6th, and that's the only final I have because our final for trial advocacy was the trial, obviously. And then for my externship, it's just kind of like we've been writing stuff all semester at work, you know, like writing memos from the office and whatever. So there was no actual like final final. So I'm pretty much done. I just have to study for evidence, which I'll be doing this week. And this morning I was doing some evidence practice questions, just kind of seeing what I know. Evidence is complicated. There's a lot of exceptions. There's a lot of rules and we'll just, you know, see. The only reason I'm particularly nervous for this is because I had the same professor last semester for Crim Pro and I really didn't do that well on the final because it was just multiple choice and I don't love multiple choice. And my final update, I suppose, is the fact that I did not pass the MPRE, which I'm not surprised about. I pretty much knew after I left that I didn't pass it because I just, it was hard. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you don't need to study at all. It's not hard, but I don't like multiple choice. So it was hard for me. And it was like, once you figured out if it was a yes or a no, so there's two yeses and two no options, I was just like stuck. I was like, either one of these could be completely right. I have no idea. And I only didn't pass by four points. I got an 81, which isn't like great or whatever, but you need an 85 in New York to pass, of course. So I was very close, but no cigar. But at least I could practice in other states, I suppose, because I think like New Jersey is like in 75 or something. I don't really know. But at least I um, didn't do that bad. So I'm going to retake that in August. That's pretty much all the updates I have. I didn't vlog last week just because it was chaotic. I was doing a lot of things and I just honestly didn't want to. I just wasn't feeling vlogging. I tried vlogging like every day and it just never worked. So today's Monday, April 29th. I'm getting lunch with Corey today and then I don't really know what else I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. But the plan is to get lunch with Corey. I don't really want to wear this because it's very itchy right now. So I'm probably going to go change and then leave because it's 11.15. So yeah. But I just wanted to give you guys an update because I haven't vlogged. A lot of stuff has happened. But now I'm going to go change because the sweater is very itchy and I'll be back.
Okay, this is the outfit I've decided on. I still hate it, but I'm gonna wear it anyways. Tank top from H&M, sweaters from Hollister. Jeans are Forever 21, but they're very old. And I think this is the reason I don't like the outfit, but my favorite jeans are all in the wash right now. And then I'm just wearing my Steve Madden slides. So yeah, I hate this outfit, but I'm doing it anyways. These sunglasses are from Movement. I'm just using my Pochette Mati. I am so hungry right now. I want to leave, but I don't know that Corey will be ready. So I'm gonna find out and then we're gonna go. put glasses on because my contacts are really killing me as usual so reverted to the glasses which is why I always have glasses with me when I wear contacts but I'm going home I need to stop at like the post office and I was contemplating getting coffee not that I like really need it but kind of just because I want it but yeah we went out we had crepes I got like an egg and cheese pepper onion situation and it was really good we stopped at martina's for like a minute and now i'm going home it is pretty late in the day it just like flew by it's 4 30 i feel like when i do something at like 12 1 o'clock the day just goes by you know because to me like 12 1 o'clock is already like afternoon you know but that's the plan i would probably spend the rest of the night studying for evidence I mean, that's the plan. Will I do that? Who knows? But I'll update you later. So I just got home a little while ago and I'm laying in bed and Peach is laying on me. How am I supposed to get up and start studying? You guys know I'm usually more of like a morning study person. I don't generally like do anything productive after like five o'clock. I did stop and get Starbucks, but it's decaf. Because if I were to drink a caffeinated beverage right now, I'd be up until four o'clock in the morning. I can't get up because Peach is laying on me. And that's like one of the rules of having a cat, even a dog. If the animal's laying on you, you can't get up. So I'm just going to lay here until further notice and not be productive. And I don't even remember how to study. I don't know why. I'm just like not, I don't even know where to start. I don't really feel like making an outline because my class notes are pretty good. So I don't want to like make an outline and at this point it's kind of late. So I'm just supposed to just like study. I don't know. But. Until further notice, I'll be right here. Much later now. It's like 7.30. I just made dinner, which is one of these healthy choice microwavable things. This one is called like an unwrapped burrito or something. So it's essentially like a burrito bowl. And it's so good. I've had this one before. It has no meat in it, which is really great. I'm not sure that it's vegan, but I know it's vegetarian. And it's just rice, different types of beans, corn. It has like a spicy sauce, so I add avocado to it to have some healthy fat. And they're really, really good. So I really recommend these if you want like a microwave meal. And I know that ones with meat in them are a little creepy sometimes. But I just coordinated with Liana and we are going to study tomorrow for evidence at 8, beginning at 8. So... I really want to work on my outline a little bit just so I don't go in and be like, hey, I don't know anything. But I have this book, the Q&A evidence book. I've never used one of these before, but my friend Chelsea took evidence last semester. So she gave it to me for this semester. And Chelsea's really smart. So if she used it, it must be good. I'm going to eat my dinner and then I guess just start making my outline and see where it goes from there. I was super tired there for a while. I thought for sure I was just gonna fall asleep, but I didn't, so I'm just gonna start working, I guess.
Hey guys, it's much later. It's like 9.30. I've just been watching Jane the Virgin. I've had a lot of episodes to catch up on. So I've just been watching them. And I think someone asked me last time how I watch them. I watch them on Amazon Prime Video. You can watch them from the CW app, but I have no idea how to work it. So I just buy them on Amazon. They're like $2. Um, and I'm going to go to bed. I'm meeting Liana at school tomorrow at 8. So we have to get up pretty early. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go to school tomorrow, study, and then go to the gym afterwards. Because you guys know Tuesdays are my workout days. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I didn't vlog yesterday because it was a really strange day for me. I woke up really early and went to school to study with some people in my evidence class. Well, Liana and other people, but. So I got home from school slash the gym around three, I wanna say, and I fell asleep until like six o'clock. I never take naps, so I was just so tired yesterday. I don't know why. So I didn't really study a lot yesterday. Um, it wasn't really a great day because I was just so tired and I don't know why because I'm very rarely that tired and then I took a nap, woke up at six and then I couldn't go to sleep until like midnight. So not a good day in general, so I didn't vlog. Today, Wednesday, I've been studying for like an hour and a half or so now. It's one o'clock. I do the timer method. If you guys are new here, I always time myself when I study. Don't mind my braids. They're just really ugly. I just time myself when I study so I know how long I've been actually studying for. And like, I don't take breaks generally when I study. I don't look at like the internet or anything. I just purely study. So that's what I've been doing. But I am taking a break to eat because I haven't eaten yet today and I'm starving. So I've just been studying evidence. I mean, that's it. I was doing some practice questions and I probably got like half right, half wrong, which isn't really that great, but I need to like actually study first because I'm just going off what I remember and that's not really good because I'll get questions right but not really know why it's right, so that's not really that helpful for the test. So what I'm doing right now is we have all of these acronyms our professor is huge on acronyms so we have all these acronyms to remember character evidence and hearsay so i'm going through each letter of each acronym and like saying what it's about you know because i can remember oh like a dying declaration i know like what the letter d means in this acronym but sometimes like i may not know what i actually mean by that or like one of them is doctor but it's not doctor it's about statements made for medical diagnosis so yeah that's what i've been doing and it's taking a while because there's like seven acronyms and they're pretty long but 
it's gonna be worth it when I have this all written out and I can just read that instead of going through a 40 page outline because honestly, that's not that helpful. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. I just wanted to update you because I haven't really like vlogged today. So I've just been studying. So that's all for now. And I'm gonna go back to studying. studying for evidence all day I'm gonna lose my mind it's just like studying doesn't make me feel like I know it any better so it's a little alarming but at this point it's probably too late so I'm just gonna keep studying I just made lunch I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos take a little break Jesse just got home. We got Ooh, spring rolls. And then I got, oh my god, this is so hot. All of it is so hot. This is mine, I think. Chicken pad thai. And we're going to watch The Office. And then I have to go back to studying. Because it's killing me that I can't remember all of these acronyms. So I need to memorize them tonight. So Jesse's wearing his work shirt, so he has to cover it. I'm engaged. Duh. It's not even the right side of the cup. Son of a bitch. Back there. That's true. People say it's icky. David, wait. No. Is there no way we can get rid of it? I would have cause, Michael. I have cause. It is because. So there's been a change in plans. It's 8.40. And I decided to go to the gym, not to work out, obviously. But to go in the sauna. Because going in the sauna really does relax me. And... I also just like to go in the sauna because I'm perpetually cold and going in there obviously makes me warm because it's like 145 degrees. So I'm going to go in the sauna. I printed out my short outline which is like eight pages. I'm going to read my outline. I'm going to listen to an audio book um, and just chill for like 20 minutes. You're supposed to stay in the sauna, I think like max is like 20 minutes, depending on like your age, health, whatever, but. And then I'm gonna go home and shower and probably end this video, but I just wanted to give you the update. Cause I got in bed, I was editing a thumbnail for the video tomorrow, and then I was like, I just really wanna go in the sauna right now. I like would work out, but I'm just too tired. So I'm just gonna sauna it up. Had a solid 20 minutes, but I started actually dying at the end of that, so I had to leave. I'm now going home to shower, because I'm very sweaty, and go to bed. Did I study in the sauna? No. But I did relax and enjoy myself. And I will see you guys when I get home. This is Jesse's pile of garbage. Every night there's a new pile that he creates of different items that he orders on Amazon to the house instead of his office. For some reason, I think he does it to bother me. I get more and more stuff every day. Yeah, we know. I have upgraded the queen of Amazon from one large box to one medium box to, to one large box and another large box. I don't even want to show you I his other mess. I'm statue of garbage. Do you want to end the vlog or? Do they still have white buttons on Facebook or are they getting, I mean on uh, 
YouTube where they're getting rid of those too. I didn't know you were so hip, up to date with the Instagram news. Uh, news Radio 880 has all the news, whether it's hip or not hip. Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm just gonna end the vlog because Jesse can't do it tonight, obviously. I'm gonna take a shower, but Jesse just took one, so the hot water is minimal. I'm just going to edit this video and upload it. He's, he like needs to be the center of attention. He's like a toddler. I'm not even going to say it again because he's still talking. So I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you aren't. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.